Well, um, kind of saw this coming miles away. And it was bound to happen, to be honest. Absolutely bound to happen. Now, what I mean by that, of course, is not going along with what every single YouTuber is doing. I did some organizing. <laughs> That's about it. I'll show you around uh, about things I've changed in this room. But essentially, there's been a lot of things where this entire workspace that I've been working out of for the past three, three and a half years now, um, it hasn't quite done it. Wait, hold on. I came here 2019. So summer 2019 is when I started working out of this room. And ever since then, it's kind of been, eh, it's been all right. There's been certain things that I haven't bothered to fix up, certain things that have annoyed me. And, you know, I started just organizing just paperwork in here. Just, you know, doing a little bit of cleanup in this, this cupboard. And that escalated to just, yeah, all of this. So redoing the entire layout. And while it may not look like much, this has improved the functionality of the space a thousandfold. So let's just go over a little bit. So I have my guitars here, my personal guitars. I have the upcoming builds there. Uh, cases was the last thing that I, you know, put in. And the desk has now moved from that side to this side. More just so that now, I don't know, it feels, this feels more like a command center now. Um, all my tools are in the same place instead of having to bounce between taking stuff from here, then walking over there, taking stuff from there, and then walking back and doing things. And the annoying thing was that when I was working on this end, some of these drawers would come out and I would always like kind of hit myself on them. So that was annoying because they would, if I was doing like sanding and stuff, these would slowly start creeping and they'd hit me in the back. So no, no issues there anymore. Now I'm gonna have natural light a bit closer to me, which is also nice. Um, that will affect filming a little bit, but I do have curtains that I can pull pull forward, so that's not gonna be that big of an issue. Amp and stuff on this wall. So it's basically the same layout, except switched around. And um, yeah, oh yeah, check this out. Finally got my hands on some Lundgrens. And uh, this is gonna be blurry because I can't show them to you yet, but they are for some upcoming builds. I think I might need to move those a bit. Give me a sec, just so I can show you the space a little bit better. So yeah, I have my main main tools and everything I need, then sandpapers, tapes, drill, dremel, parts. Uh, tops, necks, fretboards, veneers, and then ongoing builds and well, or builds that have been finished on this rack, uh, very much the same as before. So it's easy for me to just pick up a guitar and put it on there instead of having to pick up the guitar from here, walk around and bring it onto the desk. It's a very, very small thing, but it is, I believe for the better to switch it up like this, but hey, I'm gonna set the camera up as if this were a normal video and let's see how it looks. So essentially, this is now what we're working with. And uh, while it is a little bit of a different angle, I think this works pretty well. And then this could be a wide shot, maybe. And then if I just wanna bring it in, I can bring it in like this and have a bit more close up stuff where I can show you the things I'm working on when I'm doing intros and outros and in between commentary things. Um, these, this is gonna be a mahogany back and a mahogany top for our upcoming Daedalus Thin Line for this year. I haven't put out any update videos in a while, so this is pretty much update thing. I don't know if I'm gonna do monthly updates anymore. I do want to start doing some Instagram live stuff, so I might start doing that, but as it currently stands with things in the workshop that I'm not supposed to show yet, um, I think I'm gonna hold off on that. I'll, I'll probably try and do a couple of videos like this. Thank you so much for the support that you've given me already this year because the videos I've put out, they have blown up. The Pine guitar four years later just completely 
blew up and I did not expect that though. So thank you so, so very much. Um, now with the, you know, space a little bit more organized and a little different, I'm immediately feeling so much more inspired to work in this space again. And um, I'm hoping very good things are going to come out of it. There's a lot of projects lined up and that's going to be like, there's the eight string data, uh, eight string data list. Maybe I should make one. There's the community seven string data list, the eight string Icarus, um, the two guitars that I have teased, but I can't show the new models for this year. That is, there's going to be the thin line data list and then a couple of other projects which are coming up and I'll discuss once they become relevant to discuss. Um, a big announcement coming also this year that I'm waiting on the final details about to be able to tell you guys about. Um, the After Hours guitar, yeah. So this has now gotten fretted and we're heading to final sanding. Well, not final sanding, we're heading to sanding so I can start looking to work gluing in the neck once I have figured out what bridge I'm gonna use. Then once that is done, that's gonna come together pretty nicely. So yeah, looking forward to it. But hey, I've rambled on way too long. I had the misleading title. You clicked on the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you watched up until this point, click like, subscribe, comment down below uh, to tell me what you think of the new space. And I will see you in the next video, whenever that may be.